Can we... Uh, God damn it. Can we talk about this? The new season brought in a ton of changes. With certain items getting buffed, keystones being implemented, and fucking that... Whatever the fuck that is existing, Riot's goals to give us a fresh experience was well met. The game seemed different, and as the meta started to redefine itself to fit this new playstyle, fucking this happened. What the fuck is this? It's AD City! I mean, sure, most of the changes were necessary to up the play percentage of certain ADCs, but this is bananas. Though a lot of the reworks have been more broken than my pride when I placed in Gold 5 this season, one of these jerks has given me enough salt to never need seasoning on my food again. I fucking hate Kog'Maw. Holy shit, this character is the definition of a walking asshole. And I'm not just saying that because he kinda looks like one. His damage output is insane. Let me explain. In League, there are two kinds of champions. DPS and Burst. Burst characters like LeBlanc focus on dropping a fucking ton of damage on you in a split second to eliminate you from a fight, however after their initial damage they're just kind of useless. DPS characters like Shivana, however whittle you down per second and kill you over time. It's pretty simple stuff. But now, with Riot's revolutionary new tilt technology, there exists something new. We present to you, BPS. Burst per fucking second. This isn't... <laughs> This isn't a joke, guys. Kog'Maw is probably the only champion in the game that Riot has created an exception for. His attack speed can reach 5. Not 1.5, not the cap for everyone else 2.5, fucking 5. Now you're a smart kid. I mean, sure, your astrophysics can use a bit of work, but other than that, you're a genius. So that means I don't have to go into fucking detail about how broken this is. Though his W makes him only deal 55% of his AD per auto, it doesn't matter because the damage you rely on is also on hit and percentage damage anyways. Now, since you're technically not only relying on Kog'Maw's AD to carry you through your fights, you can imagine how Runons and Kog make a better team than Batman and Robin, or Harley and Joker, or Gwen Stacy and Gravity. That was a mean joke. Now, I know all of you understand what I mean, but for the newer kids, let me explain. The reason why Runons work so well on Kogma is because though the Bolt's Fire don't deal his full AD, they do apply on hit effects 100%. That means per auto, if Kog is in position to hit three enemies at a time with a 5.0 attack speed using this build, he's dealing all of this per second. Go ahead, pause it, take it all in. I ain't saying all that. I ain't saying all that shit. Nope. Now let me tell you how to play Kog. You ready? Get out the fucking notepad and the number two pencils because this is gonna get a bit deep. First, recognize you're in a fight. Second, press W. Third, right click a carry. Now at this point you may be a bit lost, but if you follow the first three steps correctly you now have a couple of seconds to read a book. I recommend Dao of Jet Kundo. Make breakfast or dinner, depending on the time. Or even, catch up on some of those important business emails you have. If you waited the entire five seconds, enjoy your LP. Repeat until challenger. Now don't get me wrong, Kog'Maw isn't a flawless champion. To be honest, if your team can't protect you, you'll be all kinds of useless. But if your squad can peel for three seconds, then the game is yours. Now before you even start typing, Oh, Scooch is so stupid, oh my god, he must not have seen Kog's nerf back in 6.5, what a fucking loser, I bet his girlfriend cheated on him because he has a small penis. Although three of those four things are true, I did in fact see the nerf. And since we're buds, I'll explain to you how insignificant it was. At level 9, pre-nerf Kog'Maw had a 35 plus 12% attack speed increase due to the passive on his W. Now post-nerf level 9 Kog'Maw, notice the fucking quotation marks, due to the increase in his base attack speed growth has a bonus attack speed of 16 plus 12%. Now looking at these two numbers, you see that the nerf to his early game is the difference of 19% attack speed. However, at level 18, pre-nerf Kog had 35 plus 25.5%, while post-nerf has 34 plus 25.5%. It's a 1% attack speed difference. Is that really a nerf? Is that really big enough of a nerf? His ban rate has dropped to 6.08% and he's still a monster! Is this what you wanted? Is this really what you wanted? You did this! You ruined League of Legends! God has left us. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Can We Talk About This? If there's something else you want to talk about, please write it. I'm still laughing off of the yelling. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Can We Talk About This? If there's something else you guys want to talk about, put it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get to it because we're really close friends and, and, and to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of things to do in my time. Also, if you guys like other games, I play other games too. So, you know, you could probably click one of those uh, because, you know, it's kind of lonely over there.